Well, I'm going to try and answer that question, but the bottom line is that I'm going to struggle because uh, quantum mechanics, while a fantastic theory that makes incredibly accurate predictions, is much harder to interpret when it comes to thinking about its real meaning. As great a physicist as Richard Feynman once said, uh, I feel confident in saying that no one in the world understands quantum mechanics, and I think that holds true today. But to start off with, you know, why would the wave function be anything to do with the real world? So the wave function comes about from solving something like Schrodinger's equation up here, where this is a differential equation that you solve to get this wave function, in this case as a function of position and time, and depending on the situation you might get some sort of solution like this black line here. And so this looks something like a wave from classical mechanics, but so far it's just the solution to a differential equation with no obvious connection to the real world. But it turns out if you square this wave function, getting something like this red line, then that is actually proportional to the probability of measuring this particle to be in one of these positions here at this time. So that's its connection to the real world, but is it a real physical thing? Well, if you look at a more complicated situation like Young's double slit experiment, it's the wave function that passes through the slits, and because the interference pattern on the other side is influenced by those slits, there's the possibility that it certainly interacts with the real world. But to answer more definitively than that, I'm going to defer. I think to do that would require a deeper understanding of reality than I have and possibly that anyone has.